Hello. Hello. So let's do analyzing data. Um, let's do it. Yeah. This is a collection of, I don't know, bits and bobs that uh, I've used over and over again in projects. Uh, and I keep coming back to these to remind myself how to do certain kind of nuts and bolts of like filtering data, moving data between different places, uh, comparing data. So well, let's just step through these. So the first one we'll do is these comparisons just to get started here. Um, you can take two numbers and you can compare them with these sort of uh, comparison operators. So we have the standard greater than, greater than, equal to, uh, equals, not equals, a less than or equal to, and less than. So each of these objects is just taking its left and its right inlet and uh, doing that type of comparison, whatever it is. So um, important thing to understand here is that you're only going to get a result out of one of these things when a new data comes in the left inlet. So putting data in the right inlet doesn't actually update the, uh, the result, only when you get data out the, uh, when you get new data in the left inlet. So let's first put data in the right inlet and then put data in the left inlet. So let's say five in the left inlet to all of these guys. See, we don't get any result here because we haven't put new data in, in uh, the left. So um, if I say five here, then you get X's or, or you get checkboxes. Um, checkboxes are ones and unchecked is zeros. So actually zero is coming out the ones that are unchecked and one is coming out the ones that are checked. So greater than is doing uh, is five greater than five and the answer is no it's not so it sends out a, uh, a zero and unchecks that box um, greater than or equal to uh, is a different operation so in that case it's yes that's true uh, five is equal to five so it's greater than it, it fulfills that greater than or equal than um, equal to uh, five is equal to five so that, that gets a one not equal gets a zero uh, less than or equal two gets a, a one and less than uh, gets a zero. So let's put in a number here, let's like eight, and then put in a four. Um, so uh, uh, four is not equal to eight, it is less than or equal to eight, and it is less than eight. So the rest of them are zeros. Okay, basic, basic stuff there. So. Can I ask a question? Yes. For our viewers out there, uh, could you pipe a symbol into it or will it only take an integer or flow nom? Oh, geez. I'm just curious. I don't know. Oh, okay, well, I didn't, maybe you knew. Let's try it. Um, let's say bird. Um, is bird, <laughs> what's gonna happen? I don't know. This is interesting. Let's try it. All right, let's just, uh, Wow, here, here, oh, this is a good time to do paste replace also. So let's say copy this and say paste replace. Uh, uh, edit paste replace and then just so you don't have to draw all of these connections again. Let's do the same thing here, paste replace. Um, I don't know, what do we do? Let's see what bird, happens. Uh, is, is bird, I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah, wrong nope. type, so nope. it doesn't work. Nope, just numbers. Good question, good question. Okay, 